Hi everyone. So today we're going to take a look at um, one of the questions that we did in class today, which was acceleration in 2D. I'm going to be doing the example from uh, page 28 of the old textbook, uh, Nelson Physics. And I will be uh, taking a look at the sample problem that is listed on this page, which is sample problem number seven. And it's the lawnmower question uh, that we did in class. And I'm just going to go over uh, how to do this question one more time. So this is acceleration in 2D. Okay. Now, as I said in class before, that there are two ways to do this question. One way uh, that is listed in the textbook is to do it where you just subtract a vector as you're doing the question. And another way that I like to do it is where I try to flip the vector right in the beginning. So the question is as follows. You have something that's shaped like this, something like a kidney, and you have one of the vectors that is listed this way, which is 27 degrees south of east. 27 degrees south of east. Actually, that's wrong. Okay. So it's going to be much better there. It's 27 degrees south of east. And this was your V1. And there was a V final right here. And this V final was 15 degrees east of north. 15 degrees east of north. And this was V final right there. Okay. And so what we did was... Uh, we said because acceleration is delta V divided by T, and we're doing vector subtraction, which is VF plus negative VI. So what I like to do, as I said, was to uh, convert this into the opposite direction so that we are doing this instead now. So there's your negative VI, and this is your 27 degrees right here. There is your vi y negative vi y this is your negative vi x and of course you have vf vf y and vf x okay now what we're going to do is we're going to do the question so we start with looking or solving for vx or delta vx component which is made up of vi x plus vf x and you end up getting something like this. So you have sine of 15 times 1.8 meters per second going east plus cos of 27 times 1.8 and that is going west. Okay, so of course this was 1.8 meters per second and this was also 1.8 meters per second. Now you end up getting the following number, 0.47 meters per second going east plus 1.60 meters per second going west and you end up with getting a delta vx which is 1.134 meters per second going west and the reason being of course because our west component is larger than our east component so we're going to subtract the two now we're going to do the same thing for the delta vy and you end up with cos of 15 times 1.8 and this is going north plus sine of 27 times 1.8 and this is going also north, north. That's also going north right here. So you end up with 1.74 meters per second. That is going no north plus uh, 0.82 and that is also going north okay and we add the total delta vy and this comes out to 2.56 meters per second going north and that was my delta vy component 
Now what we're going to do after this is, of course, we're going to solve for it. Uh, so we've got the X component, we've got the Y component. I'm going to erase this, go to the next page. Okay. And you end up with the following. So you're going to have delta V, which is made up of VX squared plus VY squared. And you end up with uh, 1.134 squared plus 2.56 squared and you get delta V which is 2.80 meters per second. We're going to do tan inverse. So we had north, we had west and this was our direction. So tan inverse 1.134 divided by 2.56 and you end up with an angle which was 24 degrees west of north. Now we're not done the question. So what we're going to do next, of course, is our acceleration, which is 2.80 divided by 4.5 meters per second divided by second, which gives us 0 0.62 meters per second squared. Of course, 24 degrees west of north. Now, as I suggested in class, that acceleration uh, due to um, the acceleration is due to change in velocity and or the change in direction and this is what we're trying to solve here so here our velocity component itself the velocity the the magnitude of it did not change however the direction changes and this is why we are getting the acceleration and this is how you would go about solving something like this as I said again in class you can either do it this way where you are uh, flipping the vector first and then just completing the rest of the question as you would have done any other vector component question. Or you could do subtraction in the question. What do I mean by that? So in the question, what we did was we did delta Vx, which equals to a Vix plus Viy, or I mean Vfx. Instead, what you could do is you could do Vfx minus Vix within the question and then solve for it. And you should end up with the same answer. So you wouldn't flip any vector, you would just solve for it, and you would do this. And you should also get the similar answer that we found when we did the flipping the vector question. As I said, again, this is up to you which method you use, and both methods will be accepted. Okay, thank you very much. Take care. Bye.